It is October 30th, 2022. I'm at Mohawk Lake in Savannah, Georgia. And if you see, turn the brightness up, there's one little tree there, one little tree there, and then the third one. I'm straight across from the third one. And here are the two, or maybe it's three, persimmon trees. But the fruit is ripe right now. Here's one that I might have just stepped on or maybe somebody else squished it. Usually not nicer looking, but that one got squished. Yep, here's one. This is a smaller one than most of the others here. But these are ripe now and I don't really have anything to compare it to, but the color of this, it's like orange, but it's also kind of pinkish, and that's how you know they're ripe. You don't want, oh, here, this one's an even better example. See that kind of pinkish color? Oh, and here's another one. See it like, here's another one. Oh, look, another one. Yeah, so, <laughs> we've got a little spider web on top, but you don't eat the top part, so it doesn't really matter. There's another one. I can't really... Okay, no, I can't. I can get it. And I see another one there. You can see it. The pink cap. Here's another one. And they smell so good, but they haven't invented smell-o-vision yet, so... So, that's some of the fruit. Um, let's see. The tree right now, the leaves are changing color, so it's the one that's red and orange. If this could zoom in better, you can maybe see some of the fruit up there. Yeah, you can see the fruit still hanging on the tree. There's still a bunch left that hasn't fallen yet. Here's that squished one. Or Okay, that's a different, different squished one. And here's another nice one. I'm just going to stick this one back down here. I'll try not to squish any because I want to actually eat some. But some of these leaves on the ground are from the persimmon, and some are from the whatchamacallit, black cherry. This is the black cherry here with the stripy bark. This one's still young, so the bark is stripy. When they're older, it looks like burnt cornflakes. Here's another really nice one. I really should have brought a basket or something with me. Oh, and another one next to a not nice one, but this one's nice. Oh, got a little bit squished. So I'll leave that here for the ants and squirrels and deer and whatever else eats these. Okay, anyways, back to identifying this plant. There's a very handy telephone pole right there, so black cherry in front. And then there's two trunks for this tree coming up right here. Walk back here. This is the persimmon bark. It's very, well, it's something. I forget all the words to describe it. Oh, and here's another one. And here's a seed stuck to this branch, so something else is coming back here and eating stuff. Probably deer or squirrels, but these are both, I think, from the same trunk that just split in half. This would work better if I brought my little container with me, I guess. So let me do that quick. I brought this with me to catch minnows, but I got distracted, so. But anyways, assuming none of the stuff that was in the way grows back, you can carefully come back here. Yep, and there's lots of fruit back here because that's the one tree, that's the first one we saw. And then there's two more over here, another one with a split bark, well, trunk, and they've got tons of fruit on them. All the little dark patches in the tree there. And it's on the ground too. Make sure you look around before you start walking in case there are snakes.
Yeah, see, look at all these. There's two there. This one looks nice. And lots of seeds on the ground, so. Stuff's busy back here eating them. Oh, they got little holes in them, so. Interesting. Never seen that before, so something is eating the seeds. This one's squishy and messed up, so I'll leave that for animals. Here's the big one. Oh, it got some leaves stuck in it. I'll see the other side. <laughs> Here's another nice one. And some, ooh yeah, this one's like, when they're ready to disintegrate in your hands, that's when you know they're ready. And here's some seeds. And here's some more. And you, if you want to grow one of these yourself, oh, some more. You can literally just take these seeds home. These ones are, they're a bit, bit sticky. But they have a little, like, kind of gelatinous sack around them that keeps them clean. So, once you take that off, they'll be perfectly clean. And then you can just plant them outside right now. Don't need to water them except for the first time. And then in the spring, and then the seeds should pop up in late March. And the black stuff you see on the fruit, I'm pretty sure that's normal. It doesn't mean it's bad or anything. I'm not taking all the fruit because I do want to leave some for the animals. Here's this super squishy one. Definitely leaving that one behind, but look how big that one is. Might just be because it's squished, but still. There's one there. Okay, so it looks like most of them finally fell off this branch. Yeah, there's still a ton up in there. Can't zoom in on it, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And this is free fruit, free fruit, free seeds, and it's a native plant, so once you start growing it, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to use 50 million fertilizers. It'll take care of itself. Like this is just, these are just wild trees. There's one trunk there for the one tree, and then the other one that has two trunks. And the other one's back down this hill again. And there's some that fell right there between the trunks, but I don't feel like sticking my hand in there. So we got all these persimmons. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cute little persimmons. So I'm going to eat those and then I'm going to save all this. Well, I'm going to give away the seeds and I'm going to plant some of them because unfortunately, as you can see, they mow this grass several times a year. So I have seen some little persimmons growing like along the edges in between the mowings and then they immediately get chopped back to the ground. So the seedlings can't survive here so at some point I will come back later once all the fruit's gone and then collect all the seeds off the ground and I'll give them away for free. I'll plant them where they can grow and I'll grow some for myself and then once they're older I'll give away the seedlings if anybody wants them because some people are intimidated by growing a tree from seed, but they'll happily accept a seedling. Oh, and another thing, these leaves right here is from sumac, which I don't think this be, this is shining sumac or winged sumac, and this one isn't edible, but I like the flowers. And that's this tall thing right here. So anyways, yeah black cherry there and this is uh, I'm not sure if this is sparkleberry or farkleberry but it's some kind of blueberry or blueberry relative this is what their leaves kind of look like I can't
can't remember if that one flowered this year or not. But yeah, so black cherry, the first one. You can actually see the other ones from here. There's the one with the double bark, and then the one with the single. And then there's just a bunch of water oaks and whatever oak this is. Might be a willow oak. And then the yellow leaves over there on the ground are from the stupid Chinese tallow slash popcorn tree that's invasive. And looky, another one. Got some dirt stuck to it. Really stuck to it. But yeah, this is where the video ends, so bye-bye.